Kansas, gateway to Oz. Under the rainbow, this is where it was. Hollyhocks and red ripe tomatoes, and churn homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. It's the best part of Today on Around Kansas, we'll visit Cheyenne County for a look at the beautiful Arica Reeve Rakes. Next, we're off to the Flying W Ranch for a real cowboy experience. Then we learn about Lee Taffanelli, Kansas National Guard's Adjutant General. Meet this week's From the Land of Kansas Business and find out about mountain lions in Kansas. We'll end up with a poem from Ron Wilson. Closed captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress, powered by Kansas farmers. Around Kansas, brought to you by Tarwater Farm and Home. Come on by, we'll treat you like family. Welcome to Kansas, gateway to... You know, folks joke about coming to Kansas for the scenery, but you and I both know we've got some spectacular scenery. None more fantastic than the Arikaree Breaks in Cheyenne County. The far northwestern corner of Kansas, the Arikaree Breaks are about 36 miles long and 2 to 3 miles wide. The Arikaree Breaks were formed apparently by wind, just depositing dirt and moving dirt and just an amazing land formation there. They, the good folks up in St. Francis have developed a driving tour. So you can start in St. Francis and you can pick up a map of the Arikaree Breaks. You can find it online also. And you can drive out and visit the historic spots along the way. One of those is a site where the 5th Cavalry camped when Buffalo Bill was scouting for them just before the Battle of Summit Springs over in Colorado. Another site, of course, is the Three Corners, and that's where Nebraska, Kansas, and Colorado all come together. The scenery is spectacular. Caves, um, Horse Thief Cave, much of that has, um, has actually caved in over the years, leaving a natural bridge. So as you enjoy the geography, you can pick up some of the history of what's happened along there as well. Now the um, Rickery Breaks, you know, that high prairie there in the far western part of the state, boast also some great bird watching, some really interesting plants. Of course, you've got a lot of yucca or soapweed, as the American Indians would have called it. And you've got um, a couple of different kinds of sage. And you know, some days when you open the car door and get out, you can actually smell the sage in the air. It's a really wonderful smell. So there's so much to get outdoors and do there at the Arikaree Breaks. Now you have to be careful because some of these roadways um, are not safe if it's rainy. So they would either be uh, flooding or because of where they're located, or they might just be too muddy, you know, you might get stuck out there. And you might not have any cell reception out there, so you might not be able to call somebody. So you've got to be careful and ask the locals. And you've also got to be careful to stay on the roads and off private property. There's a lot of, uh, there are public uh, viewing areas where you can stop and you can get out and you can look at the scenery. But make sure you stop in St. Francis, you know, get a bite to eat while you're there. Um, go into the Chamber of Commerce, ask them about um, the driving tour and where it's safe to go, places you should avoid, and you know, being careful of the weather. And of course, in the wintertime, you've got to be very careful of the weather as well because some pretty treacherous conditions could exist. All that just adds to the adventure, doesn't it? So you've just got to get out there and see this gorgeous formation. You know, if you go to the Kansas Geological Survey, they've taken some wonderful images of the Arikaree Breaks, so you can get a look um, ahead of time of what you might see while you're out there. A great source for places all over the state. We'll be right back. This hog is Hanover hoof for meal made from U.S. soybeans. Now, one hog isn't that impressive, but suppose we add another, and another, and another. 
Before long, you've got billions of hungry customers around the world all clamoring for the same thing. Our soybeans. Learn more about the billion-dollar appetite of animal agriculture at beyondtheelevator.com. Brought to you by America's Soybean Farmers and their checkoff. When your living depends on agriculture, you can depend on KFRM 550 AM. If you're in the southwest three-fourths of Kansas or the northern half of Oklahoma, catch us at 550 AM on the radio dial. But if that isn't you, listen on your cell phone at TuneIn Radio or on your computer at KFRM.com. We promise to keep you informed, entertained, and company as you go through your day. KFRM 550 AM, the voice of the plains. We would like to join your management team. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. This segment is brought to you by Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. Just a short drive down the Yellow Brick Road. Good morning, I'm Frank Chafin and this is Around Kansas. How would you like to be a cowboy or a cowgirl for a day or a few days? Well, guess what? You can do that, and that can be at the Flying W Ranch of the Flint Hills. That's right, right here in Kansas. You see, the Flying W is a 7,000-acre working ranch nestled in the Cottonwood River Valley in Chase County. There are 50 horses, 250 cow-calf pairs, 2,000 head of cattle. It's a real working ranch. Now, the Flying W has been welcoming guests for many years. Uh, guests can experience the cowboy lifestyle with horseback riding, cattle drives, wagon rides, wildflower walks, stargazing, fishing, and hiking, all in the beautiful open skies of the gorgeous Kansas Flint Hills. Now, horseback riding is a truly wonderful experience. Uh, horses they have are for any riding experience. If you'd like one that kind of plods along, that's okay. If you want to kind of get with it a little bit, what they do is they match your riding skills and the horse. And then you're off through the, the tall grass, the rolling hills and valleys by tree-lined creeks and breathtaking vistas. Now, again, this, the horseback rides at the Flying W are not your typical, you know, in a line, okay, let's go ride the horse. This is horseback riding like it was meant to be. You're spread out across the prairie. You're just really enjoying the open skies and the beautiful, beautiful Flint Hills. One can even participate in a cattle drive if one wishes. And there's food, you betcha. There's chuck wagon food, there's campfire food, picnic lunches, and even gourmet dining. Yeah, on the ranch. So you want to stay a while? You can do that too. Check into the bunkhouse, the lodge, or the cabin. And there are a lot of events all throughout the year as well. They can get lots more information online. Just go online and look for Flint Hills Flying W Ranch. Okay, you'll find it and then you can find out all of the pricing and all of that information. It's worth it and believe me, you'll have a lot of fun. Another great experience for you around Kansas. From the Land of Kansas is a trademark program that helps Kansas businesses grow, produce, process, or manufacture Kansas products. Let's meet Granny's Homemade Mustard. Located in Hillsboro, this Kansas business started when Ludia Hines' doctor recommended she quit her job as a cook due to problems with her back and feet. Her son, Eugene, suggested she whip up a quick batch of her homemade mustard to sell for some extra income at arts and crafts fairs, and it was a huge success. Soon orders started coming in from places as far away as New York City and California. Granny's Homemade Mustard has seven delicious flavors to choose from, including hickory, honey mustard, horseradish, jalapeno, old smoky, sweet and tangy, and now also chipotle. For more information, recipes, and to find the stores that offer Granny's Homemade Mustard, visit www.grannyshomemademustard.com. 
Healthy cows start with the new Hired Hand Automatic Livestock Sprayer. Rancher invented to provide an efficient alternative to pour-on and injectable parasite management systems. The portable design allows cattle to treat themselves head to hoof. Strategic device placement with pass-through activation technology takes the stress out of parasite treatment for cattle and the rancher, leaving more time to tend to other vital tasks on the farm. To learn more, visit cowsprayer.com. The new Hired Hand makes healthy cows easy. Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture, represents grassroots agriculture. The state's largest and most powerful farm organization stands up for its members through leadership development, agriculture education, legal defense, environmental advocacy, farm safety, and risk management. Members also enjoy money-saving benefits. To join our organization today or to learn more, go to www.kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Dr. Frank Lyons, a physician here at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. As one of the only standalone stem cell centers in the U.S., we use your stem cells as therapy for arthritis and some autoimmune diseases. I'm Dr. Andrew Poe. Here at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center, utilizing the latest technology under strict protocols, we're able to harvest your stem cells from your own fat to treat a variety of medical conditions. The best part about it is, it's a same-day surgical procedure and requires no general anesthesia. Tallgrass Commodities offers producers bulk commodities at a reasonable price with reliable service throughout the whole Midwest. To find out more about Tallgrass Commodities, visit tallgrass.us or call 785-494-8484. Buying a car shouldn't be this hard. And at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, it isn't. It's actually awesome. Whether you want a new or used car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. Even if you want to custom order a new car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. See Toby's team at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. We're awesome. The Kansas Wheat Innovation Center in Manhattan is rediscovering ways to get improved varieties and new genetics in the hands of farmers faster. Grower-led and checkoff-funded research initiatives are bringing about positive change. This grassroots leadership provides a strong voice in Topeka and Washington, D.C. Now is the time to partner with Kansas Wheat in moving wheat forward. Kansas Wheat Commission and Kansas Association of Wheat Growers, farmers investing in their future and yours. Log on to rediscoverwheat.org. Around Kansas, brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back to Around Kansas. I'm Deb Beisel. You know, a few months ago when Topeka Cemetery celebrated the, or marked rather, the anniversary of the Battle of the Blue in which many of um, our state militiamen were killed, of course that state militia went on to become the National Guard, the Kansas National Guard. So who was the obvious person to come to the ceremonies at Historic Topeka Cemetery and honor those men? Of course, it was Adjutant General Lee Taffanelli. Now Taffanelli remarkably has something in common with one of the other men that we were recognizing that day, General, later Governor, Sam Crawford. And Crawford, early in his career, he was just a, uh, a representative from Garnett and the first state government in Kansas, the first state legislature, when President Lincoln issued the call for arms to put down the rebellion at the beginning of the Civil War, Crawford resigned from the state legislature to enlist and of course went on to a very distinguished military career. Later on as governor, he actually resigned his second term as governor to once again enlist and um, joined Custer in the Indian Wars. Lee Taffanelli essentially did the same thing. He was actually a Republican member of the House um, representing the Ozaki area. And he was elected, I think, in 01. He served from um, um, 01 through 04. And then he deployed for a year in Operation Iraqi Freedom. He came back to the legislature and served until 2011 when he was appointed Adjutant General by Governor Brownback. Now, Lee Taffanelli is such a, an interesting guy. He um, joined the National Guard in 1980 
and was a commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Corps of Engineers through Army ROTC at Pittsburgh State University in 1982. While serving as the commander of the 891st Engineer Battalion, he led the battalion on its deployment to Iraq for Operation Iraqi Freedom in 05 and later commanded the 69th Troop Command and was director of operations for the Kansas National Guard. He has served at the Department of the Army level as military assistant to the Assistant Secretary of Army Manpower and Reserve Affairs in support of Operation Noble Eagle and Operation Enduring Freedom. You know what? In addition to all that, he's just a heck of a nice guy. I know that that evening when we were entertaining folks after our ceremonies, he visited with people. He was just so kind, so considerate, everyone here so respectful of the men that he was here to honor. We're just so proud to call him a Kansan. We'll be right back. From the Land of Kansas is a trademark program that helps Kansas businesses grow, produce, process, or manufacture Kansas products. Let's meet Crooked Post Winery, a new Kansas winery built in 2013 at Lake Perry and inspired by Italian architecture and Italian wines. Their wine is made true to the flavor of the grapes they grow, crafted by hand and not manipulated to taste like any other wine. Crooked Post Winery uses French American hybrid grapes that are suitable for the Kansas climate. Every year's varietal wine will be different than the last and something special to look forward to. They have a 900 square foot event room that can be rented for small weddings or other special occasions. Or you can just come and sit and relax by the fire. You can also enjoy their annual special events that celebrate wine. For wine tasting and vineyard tours, call 785-876-9990 or visit them on the web at www.crookedpostwinery.com. American innovation is being driven in places you might not expect by people like Brent Hayek, an Oklahoma family farmer who recently set a world land speed record in a Ford Super Duty pickup truck powered by renewable B20 biodiesel. Advanced performance is here now, putting America on the fast track to more jobs and energy independence. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel. Tallgrass Commodities offers producers bulk commodities at a reasonable price with reliable service throughout the whole Midwest. To find out more about Tallgrass Commodities, visit tallgrass.us or call 785-494-8484. Carwater Farm and Home is a nearly 40-year-old local family-owned business. Clothing for work and play, seeds and feeds, boots, toys for the kids, the tools you need for around the home and farm, and a service department to keep them in top running order. It's a big store, so when you have some time, take some time to see what they have for your farm and home. Tarwater's everyday pricing is like other sale prices. When you need it, they've got it. Tarwater Farm and Home, 4107 North Topeka Boulevard. No matter where, no matter why, the Veterinary Health Center at Kansas State University is committed to providing quality patient care to animals and exceptional customer service to their owners. From routine checkups to emergency and specialty care, our world-renowned specialists and experienced professionals are here to discover, to teach, and to heal. Let us know. How can I help? How can we help? Around Kansas, brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meets in Overbrook, or visit us online at sftmeets.com. So mountain lions have been caught on tape, seen by people, in Nemaha County, Atchison County, Republican County, Stafford County, so pretty much all over the state, and in every area surrounding Kansas, you know, Missouri, Nebraska, Oklahoma and Colorado, they've been real prevalent. Now there was one that was actually um, wearing a collar that they could monitor that came in western Kansas from Colorado and they could tell where that cat was staying and how it lived. It's really interesting because it basically had very little shelter and was able to 
just stay in the um, just stay out of sight it, it along the creek banks and and just little ravines I guess along the way so it's really interesting now of course part of the reason that the cats are moving back into Kansas is because of the population that's moving into their areas especially up in South Dakota a lot being pushed out of South Dakota the last mountain lion killed in Kansas prior to this was 1904 in Ellis County and of course those big hat cats were hunted like crazy during the 19th century and and just in the early part of the the 20th century so they were gone for a long time but no doubt that they're on their way back so if you're out hunting um, be careful parks and wildlife have actually come up with a a pamphlet they did this in 2004 as the reports were kind of uh, exploding all over the place that people were actually seeing the cats even though they weren't verified so they came up with a little booklet on basically how to handle it if you're an outdoor person and you're in some of those habitats might not be a bad idea to check out that little publication in the meantime hey if you catch a cat on film we'd love to see it how about sharing that with us we'll be right back <laughs> This is the fast track to more jobs and America's energy independence. Advanced performance is here now. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel. Soil is the life of a farm, and for 25 years, SureCrop Liquid Crop Nutrition has helped growers produce abundant quality crops while preserving and improving the soils they steward. SureCrop offers complete soil and plant analysis with cropping recommendations, delivery direct to your on-farm storage, and quality crop nutrition custom blended for your field. Choose SureCrop for the assurance of excellence for your soil. Call today or visit their website for more information. I'm Dr. Frank Lyons, a physician here at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. As one of the only standalone stem cell centers in the U.S., we use your stem cells as therapy for arthritis and some autoimmune diseases. I'm Dr. Andrew Poe. Here at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center, utilizing the latest technology under strict protocols, we're able to harvest your stem cells from your own fat to treat a variety of medical conditions. The best part about it is, it's a same-day surgical procedure and requires no general anesthesia. Hello friends, I'm Ernie Rodina. And I'm Don Dawson with the Better Horses Radio Show. For over nine years, we've been bringing the Better Horses Radio Show to markets all across the Midwest. We talk about God, lots about horses. We talk about cows, we talk about horse health, we talk to top trainers, and we even talk about Roy Rogers. We're having a blast with Better Horses Radio Show and would love to take it to a market near you. So visit our website at betterhorsesradio.com and let us or your local radio station know you'd like to hear it in your area. The Better Horses Radio Show is unbelievable. Around Kansas, brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. Go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Howdy folks, I'm Ron Wilson, Poet Lariat. Those of us who live out here in the middle of the country get used to one thing, and that is the weather's going to change. This poem is entitled, Just Wait a Minute, It'll Change. We've had lots of winter weather, so when we got a thaw, the chance to get outside was really quite a draw. It felt like cabin fever, so I was glad to get outside. Queen to feed her, built some fence, and managed to get in a horse ride. I stripped down to my shirt sleeves and got a whole, a whole lot of good work done and found it was the spring's first exposure to the sun. The next day I was in the house a paying some ranch bills when I heard a clap of thunder roll across the nearby hills. I tuned in to, to the weather and they proceeded to inform that a wave of snow might follow a local thunderstorm. I just shook my head and went back to working on the books when what I saw at the window made me take a second look. Big, fat, wet snowflakes were falling from the sky. It looked like a full-fledged blizzard passing by. I finished up my paperwork and bundled up to do my chores and found the sun shining brightly across the great outdoors. It made me think about the weather pattern in this Kansas land. It'll change so dadgum fast that it is hard to understand. And I said to my wife as the weather made its turn, you know you live in Kansas when it snows 
on your sunburn. Happy trails. Closed captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress, powered by Kansas farmers. Gateway to Oz, under the rainbow, this is where it was. Hollyhocks and red ripe tomatoes, and churned homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream. We're the best part of